Well, and this, uh, it's a blooming rainstorm. It's kind of sleety, isn't it, Jerry? I think I'll pass through. Typical cold front. Lots of wee squally showers. Yeah. So we're um, well, we're on the hillside, as you can see, and we're really just trying to eke out the last of uh, winter, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. That'll we, be a replenishment the other day. So. Yeah, we've been quite lucky since lockdown lifted. The the, the winters continued through April and into May. And we're, well, we're over a week into May now, and. <laughs> You'd expect shorts and t-shirts by now, but the, the, yeah, I think the, four, <laughs> the, the, the forecast temperature at the top is to be minus 3, minus 4, wind, wind chill minus 11. Looks pretty wintry up there for sure, and uh, well, it's nearly 4,000 feet above sea level, so it's... Uh, That's the other thing, so we've, we've gone for the highest mountain uh, in the area, just, just to get that taste of winter. I think this is going to be the last taste of winter though, before... Mm, no, never know, it might no, still no. come back, but uh, anyway, we'll report back later on, and uh, maybe when we're in the white stuff. One Shall we crack on, on? Yeah. So we headed up the big hill, and before long, we were quite happy to see that winter was beginning to show its hand. Although we were well into May, there was snow pretty pretty far down the hill to a low level, and although it wasn't lying here, we were pretty sure it was lying above, and certainly the snows from the previous few days had been lying on the mountains, and we were looking forward to getting into the snow. We were only literally just over a month from the longest day of the year, so this really was our last chance to get our feet in the snow and our ice axes out, and we were looking forward to it. Hey, Jerry, that's us. We're a bit further up the, the hill, aren't we? Probably just past the halfway mark uh, on the nice wee steep bit through the crags. Yeah, and we found winter for sure. Uh, you'll not see it, but behind the camera. It's a bit snowy, so we're going to stop here, put a few more layers on, and get the ice axes out, just to be on the safe side, because the, the snow's pretty firm, and uh, yeah, it just takes one slip, so it's actually turning into a nice day, isn't it? There's the sun, sun coming out. Gorgeous. But there are some showers coming in, in fact, I don't know if we said where we are, we're on Ben Moore, and the last time I was here, I was coming up, up, up here in the dark, it was pitch black, and I wasn't sure what the conditions were going to be like. And at this point, I can remember seeing the stars, and uh, it was just fantastic. And uh, when I got to the top, I was above this lovely inversion for uh, for sunrise. So that was the last time I was up here, and I've almost forgotten how steep a pool it is. <laughs> I did a reminder. So uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up, I'm going to get the gear, the gear out, and ready for our uh, last trip into winter for this year. <laughs> As I've said numerous times before, it's always worthwhile taking extra layers and some winter winter gear with you well into late spring, early summer, because you never know what you're going to encounter. So we stopped here, put another layer on, got our hats out. There was a wee breeze as well, so I got my ski goggles on to save my eyes streaming, and I'm kind of glad that I put these on, as you'll see from some footage in a little while. Anyway, we did that and we were soon on our way with ice axes in hand and heading up into an alpine feeling Scottish landscape. As we got higher on the mountain, the winds were whipping round the side of Benmore. And it's a pretty relentless pull up from the car. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good, good workout for the thighs and calves, that's for sure. Anyway, the snow was getting thicker and thicker as we got up. And we weren't far from the summit at this point. And we came across a band of snow that we couldn't really navigate round. So as opposed to uh, getting the crampons on for this sort of five metre section, Jerry got his axe out and they very kindly cut some lovely steps into the snow from me. And after we'd got round this point, we were approaching the summit of Benmore. Now, unfortunately, I uh, yeah, had a, a camera malfunction, so I didn't get any footage of us actually approaching the summit. So here we are at Jerry's Hilton Hotel. 
Uh, right, so uh, this, this is on the top of Benmore, which is about, I don't know, about 1150 metres or something like that, isn't it? It's certainly fell like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we've, we certainly found winter, it was, uh, you, were st you were cutting steps at one point. Hopefully see you on the movie. Uh, I'm not old sure school, if you've caught that. Old school. Definitely old Fairly school. Very good slash steps in these. Yeah. So Jerry's got this, but this is the Benmore Hilton, isn't it, as you so call it? Jerry's bothy. Ah, uh, Jerry's he's bothy. saved my bacon on a number of occasions, I'll tell you. But yeah, he's, uh, storm. It's uh, very sheltered down here, it's great. So, uh, yeah, we're going to stop here and then we're going to assess what we're going to do. We're either going to go back down the way we came or maybe drop down and up to Binion, which is the other Monroe you can do, or we might just head back down the glen, but we'll make that decisions over a, over a sandwich and then... It depends on what, what pressing arrangements we've got to do. <laughs> Brownie points to be kept for the family. <laughs> It's prepared to have full winter conditions at this time of year, ah, it's fantastic. Considering, well, some of us missed out on it because of the, the lockdown, but um, we don't all live at the bottom of a hill. <laughs> or on a hill. <laughs> anyway, right, something to eat and then we'll, uh, we'll report back later on. Okay, right, okay. let's get some food. After a quick bite of lunch, we, we didn't linger because the cloud had come back in and engulfed the, the summit, leaving the, the views to our imagination. But we knew it might clear because it had been coming and going all day between the snow showers. And indeed, that's exactly what happened as we descended down the southern slopes of Ben Moor. The cloud started to break away. Oh, this is nice. Oh, perfect snow for descending. Listen up. And it certainly was perfect snow for descending. It was that lovely, deep, soft snow that acts almost like a, 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 a shock absorber for your knees. And it was just lovely at this point. And as we headed down, Stabinion, the twin peak of Benmore, was starting to emerge from the cloud. And my God, I know it said it fe I felt it felt alpine earlier on, but at this point, we really could have been in midwinter or somewhere in the, the Swiss Alps just absolutely perfect. Oh, a, there's the sun coming out again, Jerry. How good is that? So, we're, um, we're standing in the shadow of Stabinion there, and uh, yeah, I think most people will claim it as a pair. And, um, it should it's, only ever be claimed as a pair. It should only <laughs> ever be claimed as a pair, but we've got time constraints today. We've got, <laughs> we've got deadlines to meet, so uh, we're, we're going to head back down. It look, does look very enticing, it's a beautiful looking mountain. Um, and the Bielach here is called what, Jerry? I think it's a Bielach Adder or something, I'll need to check that, but I right. think it, it, it means the Bielach beneath the mountains, but I mean, that's uh, what a Bielach is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, your Gaelic scholars will go uh, after this Oh again, God, yeah, right? yeah. So, the yeah, Bielach is between a mountain anyway, so. Bielich, yeah. yeah, so we're going to go back down. We thought it was safer coming back down here because it was quite steep and a bit of mountaineering required going up Benmore. It would have taken us a bit of time going down the front face, so we've decided to have a lovely, lovely gradient here. Nice, soft, deep snow. Beautiful. Excellent for yeah. descending. A green run. Piece. Yeah, a green run piece. So <laughs> we're going to head down here and then back into the glen and we'll, we'll report back there. Right, let's go. Let's go. So we took the green run down the side of the hill and yeah, about half an hour later we found ourselves back down in a different season in the in Glenmore and it was lovely, but I tell you what, it wasn't cold, it was warming up down here and yeah, winter had turned back for, to spring for sure. Right, so we have come off the hill and we're now in the Glen and we are de-layering, de it's warm isn't it Jerry? It's like a spring day. It's lovely. It could be May for all you know. <laughs> and that's what I like this time of year. You get the snow in the hills and it could be still winter up there, but when you get back down here, you're almost getting the, you're getting the shelter and the, the sun's coming into the glen and it's just lovely. So uh, back back in our base layers and our gilets. And uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic trip. Absolutely brilliant. It felt very alpine up there. And I, um, as I said, I think this might be the last of the, the proper snow we have this year. We might have to be uh, reporting back in November or December for our next snow trip, but plenty of adventures planned in between. Yeah. Scrambling, rock climbing. Yeah, kayaking. 
kayaking, distant, <laughs> distant Munro's, you yeah. name it. Tiddlywinks. Watch his space. Yes, indeed. So. End of steaming boots. <laughs> Stay classy. Stay classy. Well, <laughs> just a way to say, stay safe out there, and we'll see you on next Wednesday for another adventure. Right, time to head back to the car. Yeah.